the Princess series, Thumbelina. A long time ago, in a place not too far from here, there lived a woman who wanted nothing more than to have a beautiful little girl to love and to cherish. One day, the woman heard a knock on her door. She opened it to find a kind witch on the other side. The witch told the woman she had a solution to her problem. From a small purse, the witch pulled out a single seed of barley. Plant this little seed and all of your dreams will come true, said the witch. The woman thought this all sounded very strange, but she planted the seed anyway. A few days went by and the woman thought maybe the witch had tricked her. Until suddenly, the seed began to flower and opened up to reveal a tiny girl. Hello, said the small girl. The woman was overjoyed. She looked at the small girl and smiled. You're smaller than my thumb. I think I will call you Thumbelina, said the woman. Over the years, Thumbelina and her mother had a lot of fun together. But Thumbelina felt lonely when she thought about how she didn't have any friends her own size. So one day, Thumbelina left home to find people like her. Thumbelina's mother was sad to see her leave, but she wanted Thumbelina to be happy. As a gift, her mother gave her a tiny coat and sent her on her way. Thumbelina went as far as her teeny tiny legs would take her, which wasn't very far, but she was still very determined to find new friends. As Thumbelina stopped to catch her breath, she saw a bush rustling in the distance. She carefully went to the bush and introduced herself as Thumbelina. Suddenly a beetle launched from the bush. Before Thumbelina could react, the beetle stole her coat from her small shoulders and flew off into the distance. Although Thumbelina was distressed after her encounter with the beetle, she kept going, even without her coat. At this point, it began to snow and Thumbelina was realizing she needed a place to stay or she was going to turn into a tiny icicle. That's when a kind mouse discovered Thumbelina and invited her to live in her little mouse home with her and her little mole friend. One day, after living with the mouse and the mole for a little while, Thumbelina went out exploring and found a sparrow lying motionless in the dirt. Thumbelina felt bad for the sparrow and brought him a blanket. The next day, when Thumbelina went to check on the sparrow, he was missing. Just as she was about to walk away feeling disappointed, the sparrow swooped down from the sky. To thank her for giving him a blanket, the sparrow offered to fly Thumbelina away to a place he was sure she would love. The sparrow took Thumbelina to a nearby village, and Thumbelina noticed that all of the people there were just her size. Thumbelina was so excited to spend time with all her new small friends. They even got her a gift, a pair of tiny wings that she could use to fly. Eventually, Thumbelina flew home to visit her mother and introduce her to all the new friends she had made on her adventure. From that day on, Thumbelina lived happily ever after in her new home with all her new friends. The End This has been Thumbelina, narrated by Paula Larvik.